Okay, so you finished the tutorial. Congratulations. Uh, next thing you really, really, really should do is the career agents. And today I'm going to take you through one uh, set, one set of uh, stories for the career agents. I'm going to try to remember to uh, timestamp it down below, hopefully. And if you have any comments on this, critiques or things you would like to see added for the next one, I've done the uh, exploration career agent already. This is the second one. We'll see who I do in just a moment. So going into the game and uh, if you just finish the tutorial she says hit agency and missions boop, and then career agents and she and they will tell you where the nearest ones are and you click set destination. It is not in the same system that you started and so you're going to be doing some traveling. You go into the overview window. And personally, okay. I'm a big That's fan it. of hitting jump, not warp to. So the career agents are give you a standings increase. They give you some money and ships to start out and are just a way to get your feet wet in the game uh, before you actually uh, try to jump into the deep end, which is the rest of the game. There are people who will tell you, first day out, right into Nullsec, and good on them. If they can do it, great. But if you can't, that's okay. Learn how your ship works, how to fit your ship, how various parts work. Learn what you like doing. Because that's the thing, is it's not play somebody else's game. Sorry, get rid of the phone. It's play your game. So you notice that uh, one thing you can do is click here, and I call this travel system. That way the next gate is always at the top and you can see it easily. Warp drive active. One thing I've added, you notice I don't quite have the default overview because I have another tab. And I'm going to delete that and then show you how it was made because it's a handy tab to have. If you want to add a tab to the overview, one choice is to actually go to one of the pre-made overview channels. Ask about that in Rookie Help Chat. There's always someone who will give you a link to various overviews. But I personally always like to have one labeled All. And once the tab is created, I just load uh, Default to the tab and load Default of All. This shows you everything. And you can sort by distance by just clicking that, what's furthest or what's nearby. And it's handy if you're looking for something that got dropped or your mission is sending it for somebody and your overview isn't showing it, all lets you see everything. So it's a good last resort to have. The general tab is okay for just traveling right now, which is all I'm doing. But having an all tab or starting to learn how to do tabs for yourself is a good idea in E. Um, drive, one way active. to do tabs is to make an all and then start saying, nah, I don't want to see that. I don't need to see every damn moon, custom office, and just right click and remove that class of things. It's better to carve down than it is to try to pick and choose what you want to see it's pick and see everything and then choose what you don't want to and filter it out. But as soon as you start doing filtering, name that tab something else because otherwise you'll think you're seeing everything and you're not. That makes sense to you. Okay, technically I'm streaming. In case you're wondering why the light's flickering, it's uh, not because my house is on fire, but because I'm using a candle. It gives a warmer light, no? Ah, there we are. And you notice right now, seeing as the icon for the place is set, I, um, it's not jump, it has changed, the icon has changed to dock, but I click that, okay. straight I go. Uh, 
I am in what is called a Corvette class hull. It is a cheap ship. It has two guns and an afterburner, no defenses whatsoever. It is what you pretty much finish with after you've done the tutorial. If you are in Caldera, you'll probably have a different type. If you're in Amar, you'll have lasers. But overall, a Corvette class is, as I always like to say, the space equivalent of a rusty dagger and a loin cloth. Requested. Lousy Docking request protection, accepted. not much offense, but it's enough to go out and kill some rats and then get better gear as you go along. So we're going to talk mm. about better gear as we go along. Okay, congratulations. Uh, poor old Aura is handing me over to the agent, so she'll be done with me. And I'm going to do, I think today we will do the business. So double click to talk to him. Aura says goodbye. And uh, now I have to accept a mission. They want me to pick something up and drop it off someplace else. It's data sheets. So this is mission one of 10, okay? I'm gonna to have to timestamp this later. That's why I'm doing the big hand gestures. So you can say accept. Now, when you accept a mission, they did not put the data sheets in your cargo. So you actually have to go to your gear, inventory, you could hit Alt-C, go to your item hanger, and there they are, Put them in your ship. If you are going to drive someplace and deliver something, it's really a smart idea to load that something into your ship. Now, I have to take it to there. I have loaded it, set destination, and seeing as I'm going to want to come right back, I'm going to add waypoint. That way, my entire route is go to one station, do what I gotta do, then come back to the other. Undock, or I said goodbye. drive active no good nobody's talked to me yet technically I stream this as well as record it but it'll be the recording that I expect most people to see not the stream on the assumption my sound is working and all the rest of the thing so seeing as I don't have to see uh, the instructions, I know what I have to do. I have to go drop the data sheets off, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. I can close this, and we can admire the lovely space. All those blue things are um, NPC, the cops, the customs officials, that sort of thing. If you break local space rules, they will be all over you. in high sec. Warp drive active. And I'm just left clicking the uh, button there. I'm not a big fan of, technically there's a, a hotkey for that, but when I'm often chatting and rookie help and that sort of thing down below, and I'm gonna take that out of here. And I'm gonna actually make something for myself. The handiest thing is the utility, the notepad. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. I'm going to put that down there. Okay, when you've docked, you want to unload. It is not drag and drop to unload. It's just talk to the agent. So you start conversation and say complete mission. You will say, great, thank you. I just got paid half a million isk for that, which is far better than you're going to get paid by anybody else uh, when you're first starting out. And let's take that to 24. Okay. And if I request a mission, it says come back so we can talk. So in other words, they don't get, unlike the tutorial, you have to go back to the station to get the mission, which is why I set the destination Swan dock. Mm -hmm. 
Now, there is a thing called autopilot. I want to have a word about that, seeing as we're doing a short trip. If I click autopilot, autopilot it will take me home. But, one, it is slower because it warps me to within 10 kilometers we'll of Active. the gate and then slow boats the rest of the way to the gate to go through it. Then it will take me to 10 kilometers off of the station and then slow boat me into the station to get there. So you saw how fast I got here, which is click, warp through the gate, warp through the gate. Now watch. So autopilot can be done by control S or that little blue A in the bottom left of your HUD. Approaching Stargate. And see, the Stargate is over there and we are now approaching it and it's a Seven, seven, five, seven, two, six, 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 three. It's slower. Now, technically, I could get up, go grab a drink, go to the bathroom, whatever. But um, other people know to watch for somebody Auto who runs ten jumping. kilometers off the gate, and they figure this person might not be paying attention, might not even be at the keyboard, and so that makes you a prime. Autopilot disabled. Target for ganking. Warp drive active. So yes, you can let the ship fly your way there, but it is a dangerous habit to get into because you're pretty much sticking a kick me sign on your back. Not the best plan. It is slower, it makes you vulnerable, and it puts a sign out that says you could be AFK. It's easier to just click the button every now and again and do it that way. Okay, so that's mission one down. And this time I arrived right at the station because I turned off the accepted. autopilot. And I'm docked. So, talk to the agent again. You can double click, you can right click, talk. This time they want me to fetch a black box. I see this question a lot in uh, Rookie Help Chat. Uh, how do you get the black box? Well, first off, try reading things. Transport ship carrying sensitive cal cal ah, cargo has been destroyed by pirates in the area. I'm giving you a salvager module so you can go in, use it on the ship's wreckage, and extract anything of use. Once you have that black box, come home. So they're going to give you something when you start. You are going to have to put it on your ship to be usable. So you say accept. And we are now in two of 10. Okay. Now, before I undock, if I have the black, if I have this salvager, it has to fit on my ship. And there's a couple different ways to fit on a ship. One is hit Alt F. And you can see I don't have a high slot open for a salvager on this ship. So I'm going to have to unfit. And then put the salvager on. If you don't have the salvager, you can't get the black box. And we get a bunch of people who are out there going, I need the black box and I can't get it. Well, you had trouble reading, didn't you, Pookie? So once you have it, uh, what we want is in system. So we've got what we want. We go undock again. And you can see set destination. Need to head to Clackiel. Okay. So we're going to have to do a bit of travel. Warp drive active. While we're doing the travel, I might as well mention something. Occasionally, Eve has um, various presents for you. And I have some unclaimed items in my redemption queue. You see that down in the bottom left, just above the calendar and clock. If I click on that, I can see, oh, look, I have skill points. I got some things. 
And a lot of this you can only uh, claim in station. So remind me when we get back to station and I will claim those. The other thing to remember is your skill queue. If you don't have anything in your skill queue, you are being foolish because training is always something that happens in real time. So if you're not doing something in real time, then you're wasting. So Galente Frigate, Mining Frigate. What else can I do? Spaceship Command. There's three skills and it's running more than a day, which means it's doing fine and I'm not wasting time. Warp drive active. It's almost automatic for me to uh, <laughs> click on the um, on the jump button. I'm going to give us a bit more light here because doing it by candlelight, I begin to feel like I should be telling you horror stories. Ooh, kids, did I ever tell you when? Of course, now I'm totally backlit and just a face in the shadows, but get used to it. <laughs> we get people about two days into the game going, where are the big battles and when can I be in one? Active. Well, the big battles happen in Nullsec. Very seldom are there huge joinable battles in high sec. Low sec sometimes and wormhole space is catch as catch can. Thing is, they're not going to invite strangers to a war because they won't know when you show up whose side you're going to be on. So if you actually want to get into battles, and there are a couple different ways to do it. One is to join a null sec corporation, go down, work with them, and a lot of the big ones will give you directions as to how to do things, how to be part of stuff. Okay, we're in the right system. And we have the choice right there to warp to location. Warp drive active. Now you notice when we installed the salvager, we now have the salvager icon right there. And the instructions, if you forget the instructions or you undocked or closed it for some reason, if you hit Alt J, you can actually see what an agent told you to do. So you can always bring a mission back up on the screen if you've forgotten. Now, this is another thing. Acceleration gates are a way to go into what in EVE we call rooms. You can think of them as doors into a dungeon. They are not locked, so if somebody else came across this acceleration gate, they could join me in there. But it's a way Warp to put things active. just a little out of the way. And what it does is it grabs you and slingshots you something like 100,000 kilometers or 50,000 kilometers in a specific direction. So you can't warp directly to the site, you warp to the gate. This also is a way to filter um, people from doing missions in ships that might outclass it a little bit. Oh, look, there's a bad guy. Now well, we're going to approach him and we are going to make him blow up. Now, the range on my guns is about 4,000, 3,490, so I won't waste ammo until I'm under six. He's barely tagged me, and he's gone. Now, on my overview, I have the uh, Serpentis frigate, and this that I just blew up. So if I say open up, I get a bit of uranium ammo. Okay, and there is the civilian transport. 
Now I'm going to come to a halt because there's no need to be flying in circles right now. To come to a halt, what I did was hit Control Space Bar. That will stop your ship in space. You can always see your current speed, and you can set it there as well. Also, plus and minus can alter speed. Once it's locked on, then we're going to activate our salvager. Now, salvager is not one and done. It, it cycles through. If it doesn't get anything on the first, it's like uh, panning for gold. It's not like you put the pan in the river, whoosh, I'm rich. You're going to have to do it a couple of times, and salvagers can be like that as well. So it goes through a cycle, and either you get something or you don't. If you do get something, see it said failed this time. So we all we got was sand and water. We keep panning. You don't go through once and say, yay, I'm done. Failed. By the way, civilian equipment is garbage as soon as possible buy a real salvager as soon as possible buy a real ship and get out of the um out of the rookie ship that they give you but it's just a patience game there's nothing you can do to speed this up it's not like hacking which is in exploration where a bit of skill is involved this one is you just gotta sit there and grind it out and wait for the salvager to manage to produce the box Of course, with my luck, we could be here a while. <laughs> On the bright side, I can always edit this out if it winds up being like five minutes later. Oh, one thing while well, we're waiting for that to grind out and be successful. Ah, successfully access the transport. So if we go back to my general overview, we can now say open it up and there's the black box. If we tried to open it beforehand, it was said you have to do something special. So I can just drag the black box It is now in my ship and I can set the destination for home. I was going to point out though, there are rocks in this mission that if I felt like bringing a miner along, I would have been screwed because I only have two slots, one for the gun, which I had to shoot the bad guy, and one for my salvager. But if you have a more advanced ship, you actually can occasionally do some mining on the fly. Also handy if your rookie uh, belt has been all mined out by NPCs or players and you're playing later in the day. So back to general. Set destination, and we are out of here. Drive. Another okay. habit after a battle. Reload. Nothing worse than being in two or three battles, and all of a sudden you're shooting, and you find out you're out of ammo. And that, as soon as we get back and talk to the agent, is two of ten. That's where my mail was blinking at me. Uh, recruitment spam. There are people who um, sweep through the rookie help chat and try to recruit anybody whose name appears in rookie help chat. I understand the thought, but if somebody doesn't directly engage with me, talk to me, and just, I get a bulk mailer. I don't feel like they're going to give me... Um, any personalized attention later either. If you're a recruiter, talk to players, be there. Now you're not allowed to recruit in rookie help chat, but you are allowed to recruit in local. And I've seen some people in local chatting saying, we have a corp, ask me questions. And those recruiters, I actually appreciate because they're connecting with individuals. But if you're just doing, grab a bunch of names, stuff them in the two and then cut and paste your advertisement for your 
You're not. You're I'll showing try. that you won't I'll care. Take. That you don't care. Okay, how many jumps to go? One more jump and we'll be back. Oh, and thank you. Yes, you did remind me. I do have to remember to redeem the stuff when we get back to the station. Funny thing is, I tend to not to use. I get you get free um, skill points for various things, and I think I actually got ten thousand skill points just for blowing away that one enemy. But I don't Active. use skill points as soon as I get them. I use them when I have a sudden need for a skill. Like suppose I suddenly had a mission that said you need to fly a destroyer for this, and I'm going crap. I haven't just trained destroyers then I could set it up and drag and drop some skill points onto it and have the skill when I need it. So for me, it's better to keep it as a reserve and, uh, and as a spare. Otherwise, time passes even as an alpha. Your time will pass and as long as you keep your skill queue filled up, you're fine. Docking permission requested. <laughs> Dock. No kidding. Docking request accepted. And start conversation with the agent. Complete mission. I just got another 245,000 ISK. And request mission. Now we're going up to 3 of 10. And this one, I am supposed to mine some more. And it says Tritanium. We'll talk about that in a second. So they will give me a miner when we start. And I'll get a skill book when we're done. So accept. And again, we're going to go Alt F to bring up our ship and we're going to open our inventory and see that there's a civilian miner. I'm not going to be doing salvage this time so I drag the salvager out, put the miner in. And head out. Now the funny thing is you can't find a Tritanium asteroid. There aren't any. What you can find is Veldspar. Veldspar is an ore and it is refined to Tritanium. So if you get locked into looking for one specific thing, if in doubt, right click the name of what you're supposed to be getting, in this case Tritanium, and it will tell you that it actually comes from Veldspar. So we're going to set up our mining tab. And we'll go check some belts. I have a bad feeling about this, but we will check just in case we get lucky. Warp drive active. Now, remember a few moments ago I was telling you about um, the possibility of mining missions. If I'd had a miner, I would have had the ore already, been able to uh, refine it. And probably in this mission, I even could have... Uh... Oh, this is warp to a mission location. They actually want me to go to their place to do the mining. Ah, look at that, a whole field full of ore and it's not the right ore for me because they want me to do it their way. Warp drive active. Uh, when you shoot people, they tend to hold a grudge as an organization. So if you noticed in the bottom right, it just said, Serpentis has lowered their standings against me because they don't like that I shot them. 
And when I do missions, the agent starts to like me better. Not that that makes a huge difference. So, they left me one asteroid. I'm going to orbit it at 2,000. Movement is always life. I'm going to lock it. And I'm going to activate my miner that has a range of 10, so we're already within range. If you mine a... Um, rock completely out it will vanish it's okay I like this you need to mine tritanium so you right click show info this is what I was talking about and it says uh, main building block is obtained from the following ores and in high sec one of those ores: scordite condensed scordite mass of scordite veldspar concentrated and dense veldspar so that's why I'm mining a veldspar oh look a bad guy showed up to shoot at me. Well, fortunately I can target more than one thing. And that idiot came right inside my range. So I just select him so I don't accidentally be shooting the rock and I target and fire the gun. You can also look to see how your ore hold is doing, although it doesn't have an ore hold, but we're, we've got 400, 500 Feldspar so far. EVE is not a reflex twitch game. How many commands per second can you give? It demands thought. It demands patience. It does not demand fast reflexes. So that was a distraction, but nothing much to it. Notice I don't see any wreck because mining doesn't show wrecks. If I go to the overview, we can see the, the Serpentis rookie frigate is still there. And we'll check our cargo bay. It's about 62% full. I would not, if you're going to make a career of mining, which is a very slow and boring way, but some people enjoy it, um, you want to get the best miner. A uh, standard ship has just its cargo bay. A ship that they're going to give you by the end of this mission set is called Adventure, and it actually has an ore hold that can hold lots more. So lease-wise, it won't be get 15 rocks run over put them down go back get 15 rocks run over put them down you can stay there and get a couple of thousand rocks thousand veldspar that should do it so turn off the uh, miner and out of habit we will check the wreckage of the rookie ship that we blew up. And as I said, reload. Okay. And then we're in the right system, so it's just a matter of docking. Warp drive active. You cannot refine in space. Um, in the real world, this type of thing happens too. There's no such thing as an aluminum mine. Bauxite, I think. You mine bauxite and it's uh, processed into aluminum. Something Iceland, which is where this game came from, would know, not that they have bauxite mines, but they do make a lot of aluminum Docking because they have a lot requested. of free power. Docking request accepted. It can also be that way. Good for power and places to hide your virgins.
And that would probably hurt somebody's feelings. Tough. So we look in, you right click the valves bar, and you go to reprocess. And it says, if we reprocess this, we'll get 2,490. Um, and I said, yeah, it's going to cost me 500. And it moved it to the item hanger, which is nice of them. And we'll move the leftover bit there as well. And then we will talk to the agent. Done. Four of ten. I think we'll just go to five of ten and then I'll call it. I don't want this to be outrageously long. So, request a new mission. They want me to... take out the outpost destroy anything and then use the civilian data analyzer to hack the data storage unit bring back what it contains so they're going to give me a data analyzer which is a new thing I have to put on and they're going to pay me uh, almost 400,000 so I say yeah sure and again we are changing the ship alt F and item hanger actually have a venture sitting there they must have given me one that was nice of them I'm a big fan of the venture and we're gonna do this in the rookie ship just because but trust me the venture is a nice ship it is well founded it can do a lot of different things there is already something in that location okay now seeing as I'm gonna go back and get in a fight Let's load up. When I click and drag there drop, there is already ship. something in that yeah, location. Okay, then we close that. We got our data analyzer. Still have nothing for defense, but let's go get in some trouble. Oh, they gave us a skill book. We can inject the skill. Injecting does not train you. Just because you have the book or even you've injected the book doesn't mean you have the skill. It means it now appears as a possibility in your list of skills that you can train. Okay, so if you want to train the skill after you've injected it, you still have to go into your Alt X, your skill queue, and drag it into the queue to train it. Now, seeing as I'm not into reprocessing right now, we're just doing this. I'll leave my skill queue as I said it earlier and warp to location. Warp drive active. Venture, as I said, it um, is great for mining. It has a drone bay, so it means I can actually mount a couple of drones and they will become my weapon system. Drones don't run out of ammo, and it means I don't have to carry ammo, so I can go mining with two miners in the high slots and the drones being my guns. They can be shot and destroyed, but then you just dock and uh, get more drones. They're relatively cheap. They are very handy, and if you put them out before the bad guys show up, they can be set to auto-defend you as long as they're out before the bad guys start shooting. If the bad guys start shooting, then you launch the drones. They'll sit there going, well, it was like this when we got here, which would be lousy if they were firemen. And we look around and, oh, look, an acceleration gate. Going that away. There we go. But we select acceleration gate and then say activate. Pretty much that Warp third drive. icon Active. is jump through the gate, dock at the station, activate the gate. It is kind of the go there and do that button. It also, when you select a, a box, it's go there and open that, that button. So that's one of my favorite uh, singular keys. Okay, there's a storage device that they're going to want me to hack. But before that, we better take out the uh, rookie. So I have, uh, I did control click to lock on to the target, and then I hit approach. Now I could say orbit, 
and that means I'll get to within two kilometers. But sometimes I find the fast ones keep dodging orbits, whereas if you just say, go straight at them, you get close enough and you fire the guns. turned off. Somehow, when I was fooling around, I must have accidentally uh, turned one of my guns off. Okay, he blew up real good. Uh, you'll notice I've, while well, I was messing there, I should explain what I was doing. Um, what I did is, it's called chaining or linking the guns together, so I only have to push one button to fire. I prefer it that way rather than having to click a bunch of different weapons. And usually it's best to focus all your fire on one enemy, not, you know, this guy, this gun shoot that guy and this gun shoot that guy. So, let's orbit the data storage device. Lock on. It's right there. Now, if I try to open it right now, I get a message of you cannot access without specialized equipment. That's where this comes in. Click C Civilian Data Analyzer, and now there's a mini hacking game. That number says how far to a good thing. So that says two, two, that didn't do any better, two. One. Uh, let's go with that one. Nope. That kind of squinty eye thing, that's what I want. And done. I successfully hacked it. Now you can open it. Retrieve what I was supposed to retrieve. I used the loot all button. And that's the end of the mission. So I say, go back home. Warp God. drive active. I actually enjoy uh, do, using the data analyzer, relic analyzers, is part of the exploration career line as well. And the hard part's finding the uh, relic and data boxes, but there are people who make a fair amount of risk, especially if they go into dangerous territory to do it, that it's kind of restful. It's like a little puzzle or a lottery thing um, to click the right button before you click the wrong button too often. And if it pays off in ESC, you can take an exploration ship out and one or requested. two good uh, stops and boxes, and you've paid for the entire ship. So if you do lose it in a risky space, Docking it's already paid accepted. for, as long as you got the material back and sold it. <laughs> Never is anything worth anything until you get it home and sell it. Otherwise, it is just pixels and not even good ones. Okay, start conversation. Complete the mission. And uh, amazing. With the We're now going to go over the evidence and prepare for upcoming attacks. So I request a new mission. And they want me to transport We are required to learn Hull Upgrades 1 skill. So let's take a look at our skill book. Now if you can't see it, and it's a lot of skills, well, I've already got Hull Upgrades 1 up to 3. And they said only to 1, so we're good. Okay. And uh, you get one overdrive injector system, rewards, you get a cargo hold, and some cash. So this is five of ten. Okay. Accept. And I'm supposed to take the data, uh, encoded data chip. And they do remind you it needs to be in your hold. 
right now it's in the item hanger. Drag it to your ship. Okay. I'll leave that there because I can't be bothered with anything else. And all right. Remember I said I like to um, set destination and then add waypoint. That means I will get there, I will get back. And you can see this is going to be a 14 jump around trip. If I did it in autopilot, we would be here for a while. <laughs> Thanks, Dead GTX, but this is a very light alt of a veteran player, so I don't think I need a active. referral. So, mission uh, goes on where you're heading for seven jumps over, seven jumps back. And I left the data analyzer on, should have just dumped it. And again, that's a civilian data analyzer, so it has no use beyond the tutorials or the career agents. And personally, if there was a decent uh, trade hub nearby, just doing the missions. I've done the tutorial and this is the first set of missions. You can see my wallet is up to 1.46 million, which is enough to buy a decent frigate and outfit it for a rookie. Nice thing is as long as you actually are present at the computer and clicking this. The okay. seven jumps will take about four or five minutes. So if you want to skip ahead, um, this is like I said, this is the last mission in the video. Just look to see it's a delivery mission. Uh, what's the term in general gaming terms? FedEx. Pick up this, take it there. It is not hard. We already went through how to do a couple of FedEx missions. Basically, it's land at the place and then open conversation with the uh, with the agent and it will automatically unload from your ship and complete them then you get opportunity to complete the mission and then it's just fly back to complete the second set of five i'm going to be stopping okay. this video at the Active. end of this but so if you want to don't want to see the end or don't care you're welcome to leave now because that's pretty much a lesson i'm just one of those people who actually likes to fly it out and complete it com for you for somebody who wants to see what it looks like now, interesting thing, you'll notice the space is kind of greenish here. And if you're playing the game, your space may be a different color. The space is color coded to, um, in high sec, to the races. Green means Galente. The backgrounds of Galente ships are green. If you're in Caldera space, the space will have a bluish tinge to it, and the ships will have a blue background. Minmatar, red, and Amar, gold. I'll bring up a ship just to show you, seeing as we have a few moments while we're flying. Altar opens the market, lets you see all sorts of things. But we're going to take okay. a look at a ship. Active. Might as well look at a battleship, just standard ones. Now if we look at an Amar battleship, See what I mean? The background to the ship image is gold, and even the space behind it has a golden tinge. If instead I looked at, uh, say, a Caldari ship, notice the blue tinge to space. And Minmatar, just so we've looked at all of them. very red. So where are we at? Three jumps to go. There are, I have no idea how many ships there are in EVE, um, different ships. There are going up from the small to the large the Corvette class that we're in is the free ship that you get and anytime you dock at a station and don't have one you can click okay. board my Corvette and we'll give you a new one. Frigates are the smallest uh, standardized ship that can mount weapons. 
in between that or kind of off to the side is a thing called shuttles, which are only good for getting you from A to B. You can't mount any modules on them, so they are next to useless. No guns. They are just for fast transport. Uh, after frigates come destroyers. Destroyers are mainly made to kill frigates. They can mount up to seven small weapons as opposed to three or four and uh, fly a little slower but not much but definitely are good frigate killers. Step up from that are cruisers. Now sideways there's also T3 destroyers which are um, multiple class and very dangerous and then there are also specialty cruisers, there's assault cruisers, there's strategic cruisers, that sort of thing. Uh, Rasnaborgs on the overview. They won't open fire by the time I go through. There are NPCs and they are dangerous and they would kill me if I lingered. You know, like if I landed 10 kilometers off of the gate and moseyed in. That sort of thing. Warp drive active. Beyond uh, cruisers come battle cruisers, which are kind of the halfway between a battleship and cruiser. Fast, heavily armed, not heavily tanked. Battleships, slow, heavily armed, heavily tanked. You also have industrial ships used for moving things, and then you even have ships for moving ships, which is one of my favorites, called the Bowhead. You have mining ships like the Venture that I mentioned. Later you get mining barges like the Procurer, the Retriever, the Coveter. Then you go up to things like the Skiff, the Hulk, the Mackinac. And at the top end of the mining chain is a ship Hulk called drive. the Rorqual. Going up uh, beyond battleships, you start getting into the capital class ships. Uh, things like dreadnoughts, carriers, uh, titans. Titans are the biggest ship in the game, but not the goal. I've Some people want to fly the biggest ship in the game. And the thing is, one, you need a support network. You need people who are going to support you while you're flying that ship, because otherwise you are just a nice, big, fat target. So that is when you are flying in a corporation in null sec. Okay. Also, okay. Titans cannot fly in high sec at all. So you're limited to space where people can shoot you without consequences. And a lot of people would love to have a Titan kill notch on their belt, so unless you have support you are slightly at risk. Personally I'd rather be the person shooting than the one shot at. That's just me. So we're about to dock. We've done our seven uh, jumps. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. And one stopped. Start con start conversation. Complete the mission. Check that they didn't give me stuff here. No, it'll be back at the station where I go. And I think that is where we will call it for this transmission, this lesson. So this has been one through five of the um, business career path. And later on, I'll record five to ten, and then I will do the same with industry and the other career paths. My character has been, name is redacted. I'm Mike Azurai in the game. You can usually find me in Rookie Help Chat. If you have questions, ask them there or leave a comment down below. I always like hearing from people. If the sound quality is shit, then you'll probably never hear this anyways. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you another time.